Hello, my name is Gabs, and I am going to attempt to survive 100 days in an ocean-only Minecraft world. As some of you may know, I am not great at the whole survival thing. My last hardcore series, I didn't even make it to 30 days. <gasps> oh my gosh. I tapped out for one second. We'll see how far I can get in this world. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and let's get into it. All right, world is loading in. And of course I'm, yep, this is wonderful. Okay, ocean only Minecraft world, let's go. I think the first thing I need to do is find a shipwreck because I can't punch a tree. So let's go for a little swim and enjoy the scenery while we keep an eye out for uh, a shipwreck. Aha. I found one. All right, it looks like it's kind of deep though. So crossing my fingers, holding my breath. <laughs> let's let's try this. I don't think I've really thought this through too well. Uh. <laughs> uh oh. Must get the wood. Da -da -da. Oh, my goodness. That's great. Um, oh, I got it, though. I have one piece of wood. Right. Um, cannot afford to do that again. Oh, my gosh. I'm down to four and a half hearts. And we're not even five minutes in. Uh, all right. Let's go look for a shipwreck that's in some shallower waters. Uh, maybe we can get some wood that way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Keep on swimming, keep on swimming. What do we do? We panic, because we don't have any food. After making that wonderful mistake at the very start, I decided to play things just a little bit safer. I found myself a shipwreck with an air pocket, began to gather some resources, looted the chests, and then I decided I was going to create a larger air pocket that I could call home for a bit. Ooh. We're gonna fill this whole space up with sand just to make a bigger air pocket. Okay, three and a half hearts. There. I've got a house. Ta da. Okay, so my hunger isn't too terrible right now, so I'm not too worried about that. Housing established, it was now time to go exploring on the surface to see what I could see and hopefully find some food. Okay, gotta get these quick. <gasps> I've got carrots and potatoes. I have food. I am set. Okay, let's get up before I die. Nice. Okay, so we've got carrots, which I'm gonna eat some now of potatoes so we definitely have established a food source for ourselves after eating i then went on my way found a couple more shipwrecks looted them and returned back to my little air bubble of a home with a great haul after constructing myself a few new items i mined my way downward in search of a few more needed resources aha coal my first technical resource that i've mined Oh, okay. Uh, and I again don't have wood as much as I like our little ship. I might have to tear it apart for resources. With an unsuccessful mining trip, I decided to craft a couple safety doors and go swimming for some dirt and other materials that I needed. It looks like look at the beautiful sunrise. Welcome to day two, everybody. Day two started out with me and my safety doors going for a swim. I wanted to collect some dirt to start my garden. And I also found my first cave. I think I hear zombies. I do. I hear zombies, so I'm gonna attempt to go down this way. Aha! Oh, ah! Aha! Monster Hunter! Why did I sound like Mickey Mouse there? I'm a monster hunter! 
and there's a creeper. But I have a shield. Okay, now gaps. You are in hardcore. You cannot just jump, even though you really want to right now. You need to be smart so you don't die quickly so that this is a long series. Glow ink squid! Glow ink squ squid ink glow glow. We're gonna pretend I did not just say that. Um. <laughs> uh, despite just telling myself not to jump, I, I, I jumped. Oh. Ah! I do not feel safe. I feel like this was a bad decision. Oh, that's a lot of bad. No, we're, we're turning around as Gabs does not feel equipped for this. No, I don't. No, I don't. We're leaving. This is a nice cave. Thank you, cave, for being so generous and nice. Ooh, actually, we are going to grab that because I can make a brush and we can maybe find some stuff that is useful uh, in sand. Sus, 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 sand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the plan. I quickly wrapped up my cave exploring, swam up to the surface, got my booty in my boat, rode myself home, and then I dug out an area underneath where I would start my potato and carrot farm, but then also plant some bamboo. Day three, Farmer Gabs comes into the picture. I had dug out a nice little spot for my farms, planted my carrots and potatoes, I took a crafting break, and then I got back to making more room so I could expand my farm. Perfect. Okay, so we'll definitely need to get more dirt sometime soon, but for now, we've got this going. After spending a rather long day farming, I decided to craft myself a brush and go on a little nighttime adventure in my boat in search of some drowned temples. During my search, I also happened to stumble on a few shipwrecks and looted those as well. I finally found myself a cluster of the drowned ruins, swam down, and began my brushing. Hi, my friends. Hi. But only after I took care of a few of the inhabitants of the ruins. Okay, let's hope for good stuff. Oh! <gasps> I can have a dinosaur friend! I don't know what that was. Oh, ooh, I got another iron axe! Cool, I'm getting a lot of good loot here. Let's, Minecraft, let's, let's keep up with the good loot, yeah? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Day four dawned, and I was still at this cluster of drowned ruins, brushing my way around them and finding some pretty, pretty decent loot. I spent the entirety of day four doing this, as it is quite an entertaining task to perform. Another sniffer egg! Okay, so my inventory is getting very full, and I'm running out of food, so... Ta-da! My inventory is no longer full! Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's storming. Now let's cross our fingers we don't get struck by lightning. There's our boat. Okay, 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 okay. Back to safety put all this stuff in here and then we'll rearrange everything. I don't... Goodness. Day five rolled around and I decided to do some diggy diggy. I wanted to find myself a cave that was somewhat close to my base. And maybe, perhaps, a mine shaft. I hear a bat and I want to find this bat. We need more dirt. Mr. Bat, where are you? I'm trying to find you. Oh my gosh, this bat is taunting me. Oh, <gasps> we 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 got a, we've, we we found a mine. <laughs> okay. Aha! Cool. We got lucky. <gasps> Ooh, a chest. 
And now we've got oak wood. I then spent the rest of day five down in the mines, mining my heart out until my inventory got a little too full. Oh, I'm so excited. This is, this is turning out so much better than I anticipated it. I thought this was gonna be more of a struggle, but we're really lucking out here with a bunch of stuff. Spooky. Ow. You know, I'm, I don't, I don't want to say this out loud in case it jinx it, but I'm not finding a bunch of mobs spawning. Ah, jeez, I jinxed it. Oh, that scared me. I totally jinxed myself there. I totally did. Oh, I don't have any room. Then I headed back to the surface to greet day six. On day six, I took a break from the mines and decided to give my base a little TLC. I expanded my farm. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Replaced my flooring. No, I put the fence there so that wouldn't happen! And then I created an ocean window. I know I'm using like a ton of cobblestone and it's really hideous, but it's the main block I have right now. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna deal with it. We can make things nicer later on down the line. It hurts me to say that right now, but. I then decided to redo my staircase in more of a straight line rather than a catty wampus mess. <gasps> Ooh, I found something. Oh! I found the mine. Nice. Okay, we're just gonna keep this here. <laughs> Look at how close it is to the base. That is pure dumb luck. I love it. Now we are on day seven, and I decided to go down to the mines as I did need more wood for building purposes and for crafting purposes. <gasps> nope. Hi, pal. I finished up collecting all the wood I would need for the time being and then decided to craft some chests to get a little organized. K kind of, but not really. Crafted myself a bed and then I slept for the first time. Bam, bam, blue for water. And now we sleep. Day eight, I set out on my journey to find diamonds as I really needed to gear up and enchant up because I'm sick and tired of swimming slowly without depth strider. So down into the caves I went. I do wanna make a bamboo farm. So we are actually going to come over here and collect this. Gab's yeah, doing redstone? What? It'll improve my... Oh, I just about jumped down there. Oh, I just about jumped down there. I would have survived, but who knows... Who knows what mobs would have waited me, awaited me down there. There's a lot of resources, so we're pretty good on that front. I just like some blue shinies. Not these, but I'll, I will take these. Oh, big, big... Big cave, big cave. Okay, there has to be diamonds somewhere here, right? Wait, are those diamonds? <gasps> those are diamonds, heavily guarded diamonds. Diamonds! Oh, yes. Please, more than two. No, I think it's only two. Eat some carrots and continue. I'm gonna build over to these diamonds so that maybe then I could actually get three diamonds so I can have a diamond pick at least. Oh, that would have been great if that was more than one. Ooh, there's more there. Day 
99 started while I was still on my quest for diamonds, so I continued with that while also gathering any resources I found along the way. Would it be a good idea to drop down to find diamonds? Oh my. Oh my. Maybe not. Hi, zombie. Hey, friend. Bye, friend. Okay, I'm hoping there's some diamonds down here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh yeah, that's even nicer. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Thank you. Right. Ooh, glow ink squid. Squid glow ink. Squid glid glid glow ink. Squid glow ink sack. Why do I have such an issue with that? Why? Can somebody tell me why? Oh, I just threw something. Don't blow up my axe. Ooh, quite a fun little cave you got here. Ooh, more glowing squid. I said it wrong again, guys. Glow ink sacks. That's all I need to say. I don't need to say that it's from a squid because everyone already assumes it's from a squid. I've lost my sense of direction all of a sudden. Actually, I'm not going down there. No, 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 no. We're gonna run away now. Ha! I have found my way back. After returning home, I smelted up my iron, crafted my first diamond tool, and then I harvested my crops as I was graduating from carrots to baked potatoes. Say, now this is obviously not permanent, uh, not a permanent setup here. We're definitely going to be making a beautiful base. Now, my only thing is, guys, should I do it above surface or underwater? Where should I build my base? Let me know down in the comments. Where would you recommend I build it? Oh, I just watched that potato grow there in the background. Looks like we are on day 10. I made it to day 10, you guys. We only had a couple dicey situations, which is typical. I'm so excited. Uh, you will have to stay tuned for part two to see if I can make it to 20 days. So far, so good, but I'm not gonna jinx it. So hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in part two. See ya.